We now show how to use movie gain. So the movie gain is one of the operations that you can uh, have from XMIP. So this is uh, the standard uh, form. It doesn't have many uh, uh, advanced parameters. And the idea is that you should correct for the movie gain at the microscope level. So you should measure the movie gain and uh, provide it when you are importing your movies. So at the moving, uh, at the movie import, you can define the gain. So every time these movies are used, they are divided by the gain so as to go for correct for the uh, small differences between nearby pixels. But let's say that you either you don't have the gain or you want to check that the gain correction that you have done is the right one. So in this case, what you can do is to estimate the residual movie gain. So let's say that you have imported with your gain. After applying, there should be no residual gain. This should be one. So let's uh, uh, check if this is correct or not. So I have here uh, chosen the movies the imported movies, it is very important that they, they are not the uh, movie aligned uh, move, so the, the aligned movies, because uh, the gain is something that depends on the on the camera. And after movie correction, the alignment correction, uh, the pixels from the original movies are moved to somewhere else, and then the gain structure is destroyed. So it is important that it is the, the imported movies with no uh, alignment correction. And if there is an existing gain, you are uh, estimating the residual gain, or otherwise you are estimating the uh, original gain. So uh, this protocol works in a streaming. So it doesn't make sense to estimate the gain every movie, but every 250 movies, this is up to you. And so this is checking the movie gain uh, about every six hours. We have seen that over uh, acquisition, long acquisitions of two, three days, the gain degrades over time. And then uh, the frame step. So let's say that in a, f in a movie you have 100 frames. So by this frame step, only the, f the one every five frames will participate in the estimation of the movie gain. This is a slow process, it is in CPU, but still, since you are doing it every six hours, and it takes, just in this computer, this is a laptop, takes 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, and then six hours later, you will check again. So in this example, I have only 24 movies, so we will only estimate one uh, movie gain. If you do analyze results, here you would have a plot of all the movie gains, the description of the movie gains. So uh, here we report the standard deviation of the movies and so on. But uh, every for every movie that you have uh, estimated. So if we, you have just one, you have just a single point, and then you don't get, get any plot. But if you, you are in a streaming, here you would have uh, uh, some plot over time uh, about how the, the movie gain is changing. But then here you have the movie gain. So this is a residual movie gain. And what you see is that there are some structures. So in this data set, there was a particular problem with the camera. So this camera, this area of the camera was uh, bad. And you see this uh, black spot in all uh, micrographs and all movies. So this is uh, something that the movie gain is also detecting. And then you see a lot of noise. And so is it what it should? You can go to advanced image A and then analyze histogram. In the analyze histogram, you see that the movie goes, the movie gain goes from somewhere like 0 0.88 to 1.10. So there is a, about 10% of variation uh, around one. 10% is a lot. So in very, very good uh, movies, these uh, differences in, in gain can only be less than 1%. Uh, 
and ten percent is a lot. We have seen even worse uh, movie gains, like a uh, forty percent of variation, and this is really a problem. If you see particles in your uh, movie gain, that means that the gain that you have used to correct for your movies is a is a really old one. So you should have a, a acquired a, a new one, more more fitted to the current situation of the microscope. 